Hello kids, how are you today? I hope you are doing great. Welcome to another opportunity of learning new lesson. I am your teacher Michelle and today I will be discussing a topic in English one and that is sorting and classifying familiar words into basic categories. But before that, let us know what are the objectives in today's lesson. At the end of the session, the learner should be able to sort and classify familiar words into basic categories that is color, shapes, fruits, vegetables, animals, and etc. Identify different familiar words in the surroundings. Before we start, let's have first our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we offer to you our class today. Thank you for your protection and love. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Guide us as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us not forget our classroom rules. First, listen attentively. Second, be respectful. And the last one is participate. Now class, let's have an activity. I have here different kinds of pictures. I want you to help me put these pictures into the basket according to their category. So the first basket is for the fruits. Second basket is for the animals. And the third basket is for the shapes. So let's start with the first picture. Our first picture is a banana. Very good. And banana is a, yes, it is a fruit. So we will put the banana inside the fruit basket. Our second picture is, yes, it is a pig. So the pig is an animal. So we will put the pig inside the animal's basket. Next is, yes, it is a pineapple. And pineapple is a very good. It is a fruit. So we will put that pineapple inside the fruit's basket. The next picture is, it is a circle. And circle is a very good. It is a shape. So we will put the circle inside the shape's basket. The next picture is, very good. It is a dog. And a dog is an animal. So we will put the dog inside the animal's basket. Next picture is a triangle. And the triangle is a very good. It is a shape. So we will put the triangle inside the shape's basket. Next picture is, yes, it is an apple. And an apple is a it is a fruit, so we will put the apple inside the fruit's basket. Next picture is a square. And a square is a, yes, it is a shape, so we will put this one inside the shape's basket. And our last picture is, yes, it is a horse. And the horse is an animals so we will put the horse inside the animals basket wow we are done sorting these pictures according to its category now let's have another activity i have prepared different group of words and i want you to help me classify these words according to its category so our first group of words are pet chai eggplant and okra what are these words? Very good, they are vegetables. Our next group of pictures are rose, daisy, and sunflower. What are these group of words? Yes, they are flowers. And our last group of words are marble, doll, and water gun. What are these group of words? Very good. They are toys. 
Give yourself a big clap, kids, because you are very smart in, in doing our activities. Now, I want you to listen to me attentively because I will tell you a very short story and I will ask questions afterwards. Are you ready? All right. One Sunday morning, Kian visited his friend Ben. Kian brings bananas, guavas, and mango for Ben and his family. The mother of Ben prepared snacks for them. After eating their snacks, Ben and Kian went to the backyard to feed the pig, chicken, and the goat. They also harvested vegetables like okra, eggplant and string beans for their lunch. After their lunch, the two friends played outside and were very happy spending the rest of the day together. Did you understand the story? Very good. Now, I have here some questions. Our first question. What fruits did Kian bring when he visited Ben? That's correct. Kian brings banana, guava, and mango. Next, what animals did Kian and Ben feed? Very good, they fed pig, chicken, and goat. Next question, what vegetables did Kian and Ben harvest? That's correct, they harvested okra, eggplant, and string beans. Next, Banana, guava, and mango are classified as blank. Yes, they are fruits. Next, pig, chicken, and goat are classified as very good. They are animals. In the last one, okra, eggplant, and string beans are classified as what? Very good, they are vegetables. Now, what is sorting and classifying? Sorting is grouping objects according to shapes, size, color, textures, and etc. For example, shapes. What are examples of shapes? We have here square, triangle, and circle. They are shapes. Furthermore, classifying is naming the group of objects where they belong. For example, rose, daisy, and sunflower. What are these words? Very good. They are flowers. And now, to test your understanding in our topic, which is sorting and classifying familiar words into basic categories, I want you to answer this last activity. You have to answer this within five minutes. Direction. Match the group of words in column A to the basic category in column B. You can start answering the quiz now. All right, time is up. Now let's check your answer. Our first group of words are spaghetti, fried chicken, and ice cream. What are these words? Very good, they are foods. Next, mother, father, and sister. What are these words? That's correct. They are family members. Next, hands, feet, mouth. They are, yes, they are body parts. Next, knife, ladle, frying pan. Very good. They are kitchen utensils. And the last group of words are lion, elephant, and cat. What are these words? Very good, they are animals. And that is the end of our discussion for today. I hope you have learned something. 
Thank you very much. Till next time. Bye bye, kids.